wanted to know what is content? I've seen that term before, but what is that? Hi, hi, this is JJ Jagat. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you like what you see on this video and this channel. So, I also want to take a moment to thank all of my recent subscribers. I had a small little influx of subscribers lately. And if you have watched my video about uh, my Aaron on Demand type vision board, one of my goals is to get like 10,000 subscribers. I don't know, at some point in the future, I'm way off from that. I haven't even published my subscriber number yet, but when I get to 400, which I'm close to, I will publish that number and keep it on there so we all can watch as this channel grows. So I want to thank you for the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing these videos and learning about Pinterest marketing and Pinterest and how it can help your business. Now, today we're going to talk about content. I've been talking about Pinterest and what it is and how people use it and how it's good for business. But so, I'm going to take a more macro level and go back a little bit further, open it up wider and just talk about content. And that is response to someone who inboxed me in my Facebook um, inbox the other day and asked me, what do I do? Like I see you on your jjgat.com coaching services that you offer services to content creators. So she, so she wanted to know, what is content? I've seen that term before, but what is that? So I said, you know what? If she has that question, there are others out there like you that have that question. So we're going to get into a quick little walkthrough on what is content. But before we do that, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my recent comments, folks who commented on my last video, Tamara Tamara, who said that yes, she was happy to see my Pinterest marketing tips and she said she wanted to get on it yesterday. There we go. So um, let's get started with content. So what is content? So the word content, if you think about it, let's think about it. So before we talk about content, there's a word that's similar to content that starts with C-O-N as well. It's consume. So when you consume something, what do you do? You usually eat or you're drinking something when you consume something. And when you eat or drink, it quenches your thirst or it satisfies your hunger. The word content also starts with C-O-N and what part, what makes up content is something that you take in, you know? So con is taking in. And you usually take in content in one of four different ways. You're either reading it through a blog post, a newspaper article, a magazine, a newsletter, a leaflet, or you are visualizing, taking in and watching content through a YouTube channel like this one, a television show, cable, a movie. You also listen to content through a radio show or a podcast. So those are the different ways you consume content. And the fourth way is more interactive. It's like if you are interacting with an app or a game. So it's more just not looking and visual. It's like multiple stimulation. You're, you're giving it and you're getting back. It's more two-way content. So those are the different types of content. What happens with content? Why do people consume content in the first place? There are at least five different reasons why people consume content. One reason they consume content is to edify. So edify is someone, I, I describe it as raising conscious awareness of something. It's like you know that something exists, but when you edify someone, it's like you're providing more context and you're enriching them more with the, with the subject matter. So that's edify. Another uh, reason that we take in content is to inspire. So sometimes we look at content, we look at a, a, a meme or a show and someone's inspiring us and we have a deep emotional reaction to it. It motivates us, it, it moves us to do something different. We feel better about ourselves when we finish consuming content that inspires. Another thing content does is educates. So different from edify when we're taking a topic and enriching knowledge or awareness of the topic, to educate is just probably just instructing, just telling you about it. So I look at how-to YouTube videos, for example, YouTube channels, or how-to blog articles or newspaper articles that tells you how to make a mask. So it's not necessarily to elevate about subject, it's to instruct and educate you on something. The fourth way that um, you get contact is to 
informed. So different from edify, which is raising awareness or educating, which is showing you how to do something. Informing is to me is like telling you for the first time. This is the first time you're hearing about this and it's letting you know about something. News articles, magazine articles, the news TV is kind of like telling you, hey, by the way, sadly, I'm stopped taping this. It was a tragic bombing in, or we're not bombing. There's a tragic explosion that happened in Beirut that killed dozens of people. So that is informing you. So that's, that's the newspaper providing some content. A fifth way and final way that I'm going to talk about is entertain. So this is content not necessarily meant to, in, you know, enrich in life in any, any way. It's just to entertain. Something you just watch because you like it. You find it funny. It's to keep your mind off your day and get your mind off your life. Um, or just because you like hearing about other people's stories. And so it's just entertaining. So those are the five different ways that the content that you consume, what it does for you generally. Now... So that is the content. So we are another CON consumer. So we consume content. So those of us who watch the content, we are the consumers. We're the recipient. We're the audience. We're the listeners. We're the watchers. The people on the other side of that blog article who's typing that blog article in, the people who are on the other side of the camera who's filming this, the people who are producing me, for example, this video for you, we are the content creators. So what content creators do is they're the ones who make this content to edify, inspire, educate, inform, and entertain you. And so as you are a content creator, if you're watching this and you're a content creator, your next question to yourself is, how do you put out content to the world? And also, what it is does your content do for people? Or what do you hope it does for people? When you create content, you just don't create it for yourself. You may create it for yourself. But when you do create it and you make it public and make it available to anyone, you now have an audience. So what is it that you want your audience who consumes the content to receive from it? Depending on what you're successful at, if you, once you determine that, depending on if you're successful, what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself engaging people, growing a community, um, getting people to come back and watch because they leave, once they finish consuming your content, your podcast, your YouTube channel, your blog article, your, uh, I don't know, your magazine article, whatever it is that you're producing, your radio show, whatever it is, or movie, or whatever it is that you're creating, I guess movie producers also are content creators, when people leave after they finish consuming your content, they should leave inspired, entertained, emotionally connected to you somehow and want more. And so essentially that is what I do. Help people who are content creators reach out to their market, market to them properly, and then also um, get them to come back. <laughs> so, for, so I call myself the digital content guru and I help makers, so I have different, different models for my different platforms, but one of them is I call myself a digital content guru. I help makers and creators create brilliant things online and part of my social media marketing is helping you reach out to audiences and reach them and get them back to your art, get them back to your platform and keep them there and keep them coming back and specifically because of this channel it's do Pinterest marketing and so that's my focus using Pinterest that one specific social media platform of using that to get people to back to create to consume your content become fans of your content return to your content and if you have anything, any ads on your blog or your or your YouTube channel or affiliates that you're that you're related to, sponsors that you're sponsoring, products that you're selling, whether it's a digital product or real product, or whether you have a service, whether you're a designer or something, that you're creating something, helping people book your services. So you're not just because a lot of times people are creating content not just for fun, but also if they're trying to make a business out of it, they also would like to earn a living from it. So it's helpful that as you're doing this for people, folks appreciate it and that you're what you're giving them and they wanna give back to you or support you in what you're doing. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question, comment or question below. And then my question to you is, and you can leave that in the comment below, what, if you are a content creator, what type of content do you produce? And what is your goal? What do you hope to accomplish when people see your content? Is it to edify, inform, educate, entertain, instruct? Which one is it? All right, I hope that was helpful for you. It's JJ Gatt. Again, I invite you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like this, and share this channel for sure um, for others because I'm trying to get to 400, so small little goals. So when I get to 400, I'm going to publish my subscriber limits. I'm not going to hide behind that, that shield anymore. Thanks so much. Take care. JJ Gatt. Peace.